So this is a beginner lift. And I want to show you how easy it is to get a foothold, to find a way in, just with C major pentatonic and A minor pentatonic, and start playing a song right away. And that's why I have this track running. So here I go. That was C major pentatonic uh, and A minor pentatonic. They are one and the same. Hey, and it really is that simple. Every time you start this scale, and it's exactly the same notes, every time you start it on the C, you could say you're playing in C major pentatonic. Every time you start it on the A note, you could say you're playing in A minor pentatonic. The tonality is determined by the chords that are being played along with it. For the full course of beginner lessons like this, click below for the 14-day free trial in the masterclass. Every major scale has its relative minor and it's three steps below. So this is something that once you learn, you can transfer it anywhere on the neck and into any key. So I'm just walking down and there's only two real shapes. Now the two shapes I'm talking about, there's a big shape and a little shape, are very natural and intuitive just by virtue of where the hand sits for playing in this key. So your index finger is basically sitting here at fret five and then your little finger falls naturally at fret eight, and then your third finger naturally falls at fret seven. So the big shape starts at eight and drops to five. We do it on the next string. And now we do the little shape three times in a row, starting at seven to five. And then lastly, the big shape again from eight to five. That's it, I'll walk through it slowly. Let's try it in the track. Now I came back up and finished with my little finger on the C note. That's a bit of a challenge. You have to drop your wrist like that. Generally, I like to have my hand cupped around the neck like this with the thumb hanging over. But this is like doing a bar chord where you reach the little finger over. It's a bit of a stretch and a bit of a challenge. I spend most of my time on the guitar with my wrist up like this. It's just very comfortable to have my hand cupped around the neck and my thumb hanging over. So make sure you press down just hard enough to get the job done, but not too hard. You don't want any extra tension. You wanna be right behind the frets and try and make the notes sustain all the way until you strike the next note. Let's take a quick look at the chords. It's an F major seven and I take this shape and then I just slide it up and down. So once you grab this shape, if you can just hold it and move it up and down, you're there. So I'm taking my index finger on the first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, and I just slide it up and down. Here we go. Just hold it and slide it up and down. Now, of course, this is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Stevie Nicks is using this pentatonic scale for her melody most of the time. Let's try it. So it's like you could throw a stone in any direction and no matter where you throw it, you're gonna hit a melody with this C major pentatonic and A minor pentatonic scale over these chords. And if I start recombining these notes, I'm immediately improvising. So the beginner's course in the masterclass is already up to over 100 videos. And we start at the very, very beginning. How to hold a pick, how to hold your guitar, how to tune your guitar, where to put your arms, where to put your wrists, where to place your fingers, how to keep unwanted noises from happening, how to play your first chord, how to play all the basic chords, some scales, tabs, jam tracks. So we bring you up slowly up the ladder and get you going and keep you going. There's also a 14-day free trial, so if you check it out, you can make absolutely sure if it's right for you.